Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarfuche and we are going to fill up an HXW Raptor and a lot of our customers have been taking advantage of the ability that Holocore Braid has to offer. One of them being that with the Holocore braid, we can actually set up different kind of things to help the angler um, while he's fighting a fish. The main thing is, there's actually several main things. I mean, uh, besides saving money in the long run by being able to splice their lines, this allows them to also do some safety features. For example, by putting the 50 pound test, or the, sorry, the 65 pound in red as their inner core right here, we can put 100 yards of that. So that way, if the angler ever gets down to that line right there they know they have 100 yards of line left on the reel this will help them while they're fighting the fish know mentally that they got that on the line so that way if they got to put added pressure to the fish they can do it and or prep for any other events maybe they're offshore fishing and they want to chase down the fish then they know they've got the ability and the time to kind of do it um, when they hit that point and stuff like that so we will see but it is definitely something that is changing up our whole dynamic of our spool and library because the line capacities with the tight line braid on avid reels has been real important for us because since we deal we are dealing more with the tight line braid so we can get the line capacities it's going to help us be able to answer our customers questions when they call us and ask us how much line capacity can we get with certain amount or certain weight classes of braid and by doing this it's going to give us that knowledge to be able to answer those questions so here we go i'm going to knock that out and all i'm doing is making the loop a little bigger so that we can suck up that line we got it in there now i'm going to tighten it up and this is our anaconda knot what it does is it grips the spool so that way it can create grip and to always ensure that the braid will not slip on the spool. So here we go guys, we're going to start spooling it up, getting our line counter going and definitely taking it to the next uh -huh. level. There you go, 100 yards of 50 pound, or of 65, I keep saying 50, it's 65 pound tight line braid on this reel. Now he wants to go with orange, so we got 65 and orange that we're gonna top it for the main line, and then we're gonna go to 80 pound in the chartreuse as his top shot. And because it is hollow core braid, there is no notch. It's all Chinese finger traps is basically what it boils down to. The hollow core splice that we do on both ends keeps the braid in, in there. And the tighter it gets, the more line capacity or the uh, line sets up to where you don't need to tie an actual knot.
go. something hmm. took a little while to register but I got it right there what is it it's a little bump right here All right, guys, so as you can see, my nails come in handy for this situation. Um, I sit there and I find the individual, or see the individual fibers sticking out, and I pluck at those and find out how bad it is inside. And that's where I make a judgment call of, okay, do I need to cut the line, or can I cut that uh, segment out? Meaning like the, the threads that are wrapped around the uh, carrier and or maybe I just pluck it out sometimes it just falls right out and everything's good to go but like I said sometimes it's interwoven in the individual carrier and I can't get those out so that's when I'll make the judgment call to cut the whole section out Okay, so that's part of the carrier group, but I guess it was messed up. So I'm going to cut that little section out just because I don't want it to be a weak point in the line. Sometimes I feel it go through and I think it's maybe a twist in the line so I normally slow down to check it out because normally these guys don't have any kind of thing in there but you can see right there Let's see where you all at. right there there's something in there
got 500 yards right there. And I gotta check with the customer. Yeah, we already got that one spooled up, except I ran out of uh, 65 on, or, uh, no, that one, that one got spooled up the, pretty much the first day it came in, I was just waiting on the braid for the eight check, so I'm going to finish pulling them up and they can ship tomorrow morning. On which one, the LX? No, you wanted 80. Actually, I think I messed up and gave me 65 to 80 for the top shot. So you got a lot more line on it than expected, but you're still at casting. So it's, I think I want to say it's like 600, 630 yards or something like that. There's a video that's already posted up on the channel with the spool in it. Yeah, it has the... Well, I have to move it on there, but I, I think I spooled up like 10 reels that day, so I, <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll get it on your paperwork and stuff like that, because we keep that for future records and stuff like that, except uh, I did it because, like I said, I was pulling reels back to back, and then I was editing, and yeah, so now I got to go back and look at the video myself. Uh, USPS, FedEx, or um, uh, UPS? That it's all pro. Will do. No worries. Oh shit. Okay. Do you, do you want us to go and put a uh, signature required? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So. Dang it. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Well, I won't do that. No FedEx. Okay. Yes, sir. You have a good one. Bye-bye. All right. So, yeah. We're going to the 80-pound now. So, 80-pound. guys so we got 800 yards on this reel 500 yards of 65 and then 300 yards of 80 pound as top shot so oh yeah one happy customer is going to get this one plus the LX he got both will ship out tomorrow very nice
Check that out. Eight hundred yards right there. Very nice. 